Today I am attempting to make some birthday cupcakes for cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. In this little magic bullet blender, I have two tablespoons of raw pumpkin seeds and I am going to grind these up in the blender. And here we have the ground pumpkin seeds. So this is going to act like pumpkin seed flour. Pumpkin seeds are very good. They are high in nutrition, they're high in minerals, and they're anti-parasite. So they're really good for cats. Not too much, they should never make up a large portion of a cat's diet, but it's really good to add some ground pumpkin seeds to their food every now and then. I've added one large egg to the Magic Bullet and I am going to blend this also. This is what it looks like after it was blending for about a minute and a half. It's actually quite watery. I am now going to add maybe like half a teaspoon of wheatgrass powder because the cats love cat grass. I just added about a quarter of a teaspoon of this amazing grass, amazing trio. This is barley grass, wheatgrass, and alfalfa. It's basically just like dried cat grass, and the cats love cat grass. And I have a can of Trader Joe's solid white albacore tuna in water, no salt added. Very important to get tuna that does not have any salt added. The only ingredients in this tuna are solid white tuna and water. And it's also very important to use tuna that does not have vegetable broth as an ingredient. Tuna companies like to hide chemicals and MSG in vegetable broth. They also add soy so you never want that in your tuna you always want to read the ingredients on tuna and make sure it's only tuna and water or tuna and oil so i am going to add half of this can this is what the batter looks like after the tuna and the cat grass has been blended into it so it's thicker and it's kind of a slightly greenish shade so now i am just going to add a little bit of baking powder. This is how much baking powder I used. Um, I have a measuring spoon for an eighth of a teaspoon and I used half of that. So this would be like 1 16th of a teaspoon. I have a mini muffin tray which I have sprayed with coconut oil. And now I am going to pour the batter into the tray. This is going to make about six cat cupcakes and a half. There wasn't actually enough to fill this. If I would have filled all of these a little bit more, then it would have made um, just six. But it's the first time I am making this recipe. I'm just kind of coming up with it as I'm doing it. And um, we'll see how these bake. I wanted to leave room in each little uh, muffin cup for them to rise. I don't know how much they're going to rise. So that's why I wanted to leave room for that. So Right now I am preheating the oven to 350 degrees and once it is hot, then these are going right in the oven. The cupcakes have been baking for 15 minutes and they look really good and they smell really good. And I think I am going to bake them for like one minute longer. I just want them to get a little bit browner on top. This is what the cupcakes look like after baking for 17 minutes. Now that time is going to vary depending on your oven. Some ovens are faster, some ovens are slower. Um, so just kind of watch and see how they do in your oven. Now what we're going to see now is that they are going to start to deflate because there's really no flour in here. We're just using some ground pumpkin seeds as flour, and these are basically um, made out of eggs. They're almost kind of like souffles. So they will kind of deflate to a certain extent. So what we see here um, and there is what I'm hoping the level of deflation is. This one's deflated, um, this one's starting to, and this one's still holding up pretty good. So that one's deflated. So we'll see what happens and we'll see how 
these come out. What I want to do is just cool these a little bit uh, for a few minutes in the pan and then pop these out. These will not be served to the cats until they are completely cooled. So what I'm thinking is like right now it's about 9.30 a.m. So I will just let these cool all day and then give these to the cats for their dinner. So that'll probably be about eight or nine hours from now. So right now it has been I don't know like eight or nine minutes and this pan is cool to the touch now so I am going to get a knife and see how these pop out they are nice and firm on top I hope they're not too firm for the cats and then we'll take a look at these this is what the pan looks like after I got the cupcakes out so this one stuck uh, to the pan uh, pretty badly uh, that one stuck a little, these stuck. That did not stick at all, that did not stick at all. So I would say definitely make sure your pan is well greased before making these. These four are the ones that did not stick badly. These are the ones that stuck more. This is the little tiny one. Then this is the one that was kind of puffy on top and it's because it was pretty much hollow inside. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. So these are the four I'll give to the cats. I'll probably give that one to Hydrox and um, these ones I'll just use for experimentation purposes and I've already tasted a small piece of this it's kind of like a tuna muffin that's the best way I could describe it like a tuna muffin so these um, I'm just gonna let them cool all day I might even put them in the refrigerator later or maybe I'll just put them in some uh, aluminum foil or a plastic container let's take a piece of the muffin to Boo will Boo eat it? Boo you gonna eat it? You gonna eat the tuna muffin? You gonna try it? He's licking it. Is he gonna bite it? Look at that. Look at that. So what this tells me is that even if the cats don't like the shape or the um the fact that it's in one big piece. Maybe these would be great homemade cat treats if I made them smaller. Okay, boo. Okay, that's enough for now. That's enough. Simba, you wanna try tuna cupcake? Here, try the tuna cupcake. Are you gonna try it? You wanna eat it? Simba's gonna eat it too? Remember the ingredients are just eggs, tuna, pumpkin seeds, cat grass, and a little bit of baking powder. Not soda, not baking soda, baking powder. Do you like it? You gonna eat it? What are you gonna do to it, Simba? I'm making these for your birthday. You and Splash are gonna be three years old. I don't want you eating the whole thing, but you could taste it. You gonna like it? You gonna like it? Okay. All right, give it to me back. I'll give you a little piece here. Yeah. Eat that little piece. I give him a little piece. So if I turn these into cat treats, look. I know the cat likes it. I'll give Boo a little piece also. I just gave Boo a little piece of the tuna cupcake. You want to eat it, Boo? Look at that. Boo likes it too. Yay, Boo. I'm two for two. I am two for two with this brand new recipe that I made up today. Good boy, Boo. Stella and Splash are in their beds. So this is what I have left of this cupcake. I'm actually just going to give them each a little piece and we'll see if they eat it. <laughs> Stella's like all tired, but she's smelling it. Okay, Stella, I'll give you a piece. I just gave a piece to Stella. Is she going to eat it? 
No, she jumped out of the bed. You want to eat it? Stella, this is a birthday cake. Come on. You like birthday cake. You don't want it? But Boo liked it. And Simba liked it. Splashes. Going back to the cat bed. Is he eating it? It looks like he's eating it. I have to be honest, these things smell really good, and they do taste good. They're like a savory muffin. I mean, I would eat them. It looks like Splash is eating them. So all the boys really like these. The cupcakes have been in the refrigerator all day. It's now 7.30 p.m. and I just took them out of the refrigerator. They are going to sit out for a little while and they will kind of warm up to room temperature. And while they're warming up, I am going to make some icing for them. And here I have a bag of freeze-dried blueberries and here I have a bag of freeze-dried raspberries. And I use both of these in the raw food that I make for the cat. So I'm going to use these to color the icing for the cupcakes. For the icing itself, I am going to be using this Gerber uh, turkey and gravy baby food. It's a little bit on the pink side, um, but we're going to add some red raspberries and or some blue blueberries and that should give it a prettier color. These are the crushed blueberries that were in the bottom of the bag. I basically just took the blueberries out of the bag, poured out the crushed bits, and then I put the blueberries back in the bag so I don't really have to do any crushing here. What I am going to do with this is take some of the turkey baby food, mix it in, and it should make it a nice either blue or purple color. And that's what it looks like after it has been mixed together. It is definitely more on the purple side. It's not like a really bright purple or anything. To me, it looks like blueberry yogurt. If you've ever had blueberry yogurt where you stir the blueberries in, that's what it looks like right now. It's almost like a pastel purple. Here's some of the crushed up raspberries from the bottom of the bag. And I just crushed them up a little bit more between my fingers. And now I am going to mix this together with some of the baby food. This is what the two different frostings look like. The pink is on the left and the purple or blue is on the right. And these are the cupcakes. The cupcakes are slightly green because of the cat grass that's in them. So it's really pretty. It's like pastel colors. It's like pastel green, pastel pink, and pastel purple. The cats are eating their dinner on small paper happy birthday plates. So let's plate these cupcakes. First, they each get a cupcake. I just put some of the pretty icing on each cupcake. So this is the red icing. And this one has the purple icing. But now we need to decorate them a little bit. To decorate these, I have some dry cat food. And this dry cat food comes in different shapes and colors. The cats never eat this kind of dry cat food. So it's going to be a very special treat for them. And I am going to top these cupcakes with this dry cat food like birthday sprinkles, like rainbow sprinkles. Okay, so this cupcake is done and it looks so cute, oh my gosh. It's a tuna cupcake with raspberry turkey frosting and multicolor crunchies. And here's the other little cupcake. It's a tuna cupcake with blueberry turkey frosting and multicolor crunchies on top and when I say crunchies it just means dry cat food they almost look like little cream puffs but look how cute they are they're so cute and here's another one and then this one has a little bit too much icing on it the icing is kind of dripping down the sides look how cute that is look at that cupcake for cats and here's the purple one this one reminds me of a cream puff and here's the other pink one and here's Stella. She's been rubbing up against my legs as I've been filming these cupcakes. Okay, Stella, you want a cupcake? The cats are all eating their cupcakes. 
Boo's pushing his all around. Be nice, Boo. Come back to the side, Boo. There you go. So they've licked off all of the frosting and Stella's biting. Stella's gonna get that cupcake. Oh, look at that. Stella took the cupcake right off the plate. Boo's licking his cupcake. These paper plates are kind of uh, sliding around too much. It's better not to feed these on paper plates. Boo's eating his cupcake. Stella's eating her cupcake. Splash is looking at Stella. Splash is going to eat Stella's cupcake. Boo's nibbling on his. What's Simba doing? Is he going to eat his? Okay guys, don't feed these cupcakes on paper plates. The paper plates slide around too much. Stella's really eating her cupcake. Go ahead, Boo, you could eat your cupcake. Simba's gonna eat his. Eat that, Boo. Go ahead, eat your cupcake. Simba's licking the frosting off of Splash's cupcake. Stella has Boo's cupcake. Simba's working on his cupcake. I'll give this one to Boo. Come on, Boo. Eat your cupcake, Boo. You like cupcakes. Splash is eating Stella's. She's licking up icing. This is a giant mess, but the cats are enjoying it. Simba's still eating his now. He, they really like the frosting, which is basically just baby food with the little fruit mixed in for color. Simba's working on his cupcake. Simba's gonna eat Boo's cupcake. Splash is still eating his. Simba's checking this out. Simba's gonna eat what Stella was eating. I just cut it in half for Boo. Might be easier for him. He has teeth issues, remember, he lost a few teeth. Yeah, now he's eating it. Simba's eating the cupcake on the table. These cats are kind of messy. But I would say they had a very good time at their cupcake party. Right, Simba? You like your cupcake? There is one cupcake left and these cupcakes look a lot like brains. Like I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, it looks like a brain. And I am going to eat this cupcake because everything in it is human grade food. It's just an egg, tuna, pumpkin seeds, wheatgrass powder, and a little bit of baking powder. So that's uh, basically human food. And the frosting is human baby food with some fruit. So I'm gonna frost it with the raspberry frosting and I am going to give it a taste. And here we have it. Here's another little cupcake for cats and I am going to taste it. It's really pretty disgusting. Imagine eating a tuna muffin with like turkey puree on top. That's what it tastes like. The raspberry does give it some tanginess. Like this is something I would never want to eat again. The only reason I'm eating this now and finishing it is because I'm really hungry. I have not had dinner yet. I only had a salad for lunch, so yeah. It's real interesting, but I'm glad the cats like it. I just tasted some of the blueberry frosting. I like the blueberry frosting better than the raspberry frosting. I, I, I just think the blueberries go better with turkey than the raspberries do. The raspberries are kind of like really tart and the blueberries are more mild. But both of those are gross, like nasty. 
you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.